Over the past few weeks, I've gotten a lot of questions about how I'm using Manus personally as my AI tool of choice. I've mentioned several times here on the channel in this 100 Days of AI Challenge that Manus is kind of my go-to for most complex AI tooling needs. And in this video, I'm gonna walk through four specific applications I've used Manus for in the past week to run my business. This is not fictional like pink kittens or flying cows or something. This is me doing real work on a real business using Manus. I'm gonna walk through all four of these scenarios and how Manus as an agentic platform dominates over things like ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm also gonna talk about a severe limitation that I think Manus has and how I'm overcoming that, especially as compared to things like Claude, Gemini, and ChatGPT. So stick around to the end to figure out how to overcome this big hurdle that all Manus users will have. Okay, diving in, let's take a look at the first uh, thing that I did with Manus most recently, and this is just yesterday. So this is real time, real stuff that I'm using Manus for. I am creating a program around AI, and this is gonna be kind of a cohort-based group uh, education and community program um, that I'm gonna to offer to business leaders who wanna level up their skills and abilities with AI. It's gonna be eight weeks long, and I wanna create what's called an offer doc. And an offer doc is basically like a sales page, but in a doc that I would just send somebody instead of having a stupid sales call. So if you're interested in this, instead of us getting on a sales call, I would just send you this doc and you'd be like, cool, that's interesting, that's for me, or that's not, and you'd sign up or you don't. So uh, this is the prompt, is you're an expert copywriter, you know how to get clicks and conversions. Task is we're gonna create this offer doc. This is a document that describes an offer I'm creating for my new group coaching program. Context is, you know about me already. If not, ask clarifying questions. And this is super important. If you're not using this clarifier and you're prompting, I think you're really missing a big opportunity to provide a lot of context to whatever LLM you're using, whether that's Manus or ChatGPT or Claude or whatever. If it doesn't know the answer, it should ask you the clarifying questions so you can provide it with additional context so it can go be successful, okay? Uh, constraints, uh, you're creating this offer doc for an eight week AI kind of accelerator program on the back of my 100 days of AI program. Uh, examples is this is an offer doc from this guy named Taki Moore. He's kind of a business coach of coaches and he has a really great kind of offer doc here that I just copied and used it as an example. So Manus went away and said, cool, I'll go, you know, do this. By the way, I should just back up a little bit. Say Manus has three modes it can operate in. It has agent mode, which is where uh, it operates a lot of times. It uh, has adaptive mode, which is how I use it a lot. So it can go uh, and be in agent mode or it can be in just simple chat mode. And the last one's just chat. Uh, okay, so Manus went away and thought a little bit and said, cool, um, I need this information. And this is where the big kind of downfall of Manus comes in. Uh, it doesn't know my name. And that's really kind of a bummer because I spent a lot of time with Manus. It's like, come on, man, like you should know me. Like we're dating here, but it doesn't. And so this is where knowledge in Manus really comes in. And these are perpetual pieces of information that Manus can know about you and can persist over all of your chats. Knowledge exists here. And you can have up to 20 pieces of knowledge in Manus at an account level. Uh, I'm gonna go more into this later, but just know if you want Manus to operate more like ChatGPT where it knows everything about you, you gotta get strategic and specific about the knowledge that it has. Cool? Uh, okay, so it asked me these clarifying questions. I gave it these answers. And some of these were entire documents that Manus created for me uh, separately. And I'll go through those in just a minute. Cool, so I gave it all this additional information and it said, cool, I'll go think about this and create this offer doc. It had a plan, uh, right? It creates this plan for how to do this. Manus is just amazing at doing all this stuff and then creates this offer doc. And so this is the output, this is the result. So I'm working with a handful of founders to transform them into AI augmented CEOs in just eight weeks. Here's what we're doing. And so like, if you got this and this sounded good to you, this would replace you freaking scheduling time to get on a call with me and do all this kind of stuff, right? So literally like this is something I'm gonna send to folks in a little bit. Like this is the offer doc, this is the, the surrogate for a sales call for me. 
Manus created this. It's really good. It's really in depth and it follows a template that is proven by someone who does a lot of this and that I really kind of trust and respect, right? So this is a this is by far the most simple use of Manus that I've had in the last week. But I wanted to show you this because uh, because it's pretty straightforward. This might be a really great place for you to get started with Manus, okay? Um, I'm gonna skip this one because this is just a really simple chat. The next one is uh, for my YouTube. So I'm doing 100 days in a row of a YouTube video all about AI, 100 days of AI. And because I'm crazy, I'm adding on shorts, dedicated shorts. Probably I'll record some today. So today's 33, maybe day 33. And I wanna create dedicated shorts. But with shorts, especially because like you have 150 words, you have a minute to get a point across you really should have a script and I should be reading from a teleprompter, which is over here. And so what I wanna do is have uh, something write scripts for me. I don't think Manus is the tool for this because I need a bunch of information. I need context, I need examples, I need a way to write really great hooks. I need pacing and formatting and open loops and psychological kind of mechanisms to get really, really, really great uh, shorts. And so I had Manus create uh, a Claude project for me. So, hey, I want to create awesome YouTube short scripts, create a Claude project with a whole ton of information like style guide, hooks, uh, all this kind of stuff, right? Assets, prompts, goes away, it does its thing, it searches YouTube for like really great uh, viral hooks and shorts, right? Uh, it's doing all this research, it looks at success, other successful CEOs and kind of the things that they are CEO coaches and things that they talk about. It's looking at like Alex Ramosi, right? That's a pretty good person to model some behavior after. It's doing all of this kind of stuff, right? And so it came back and it says, I did deep research. I personalized a brand system. I have 15 hook categories from 100 plus proven hook formulas, five master prompts, all this stuff. Look at all the stuff it came back with from literally one kind of 10 line prompt. And so what I would do now, and literally I just did this yesterday, so I haven't built the Claude project yet, but I would take and add all these to uh, Google, to save my Google Drive. I'd go into Claude and I'd create a new project. And in the Claude project, I could then go and say, uh, give me a short about Manus. Give me a short based on the script of this video that I'm recording right now. Uh, I could I could do all sorts of stuff, right? And so uh, Claude Project is a great bucket to do work in. That's kind of how I think about it. Manus doesn't have this concept, and it's the only downfall or downside I have of Manus at this point. Okay, so that was creating a Claude Project. The one before that is uh, I did a whole video on this thread which was, I had a real standout video. Um, at the time of recording this, it has about 20,000 views. Other big videos on the channel have about 1,000, 500 maybe even. So it's like, wow, I have an outlier. I wanna figure out what that outlier was and why and how I can go do just a whole bunch more like that, right? So I'm trying to reverse engineer virality on YouTube and say, I had this really great video. Tell me what about the hook was successful that probably made this successful. It goes and does its thing and it says, hey, this is why this was successful. Okay, cool. And it gave me this doc. I said, okay, great. Now go do that for these other videos. And it did. Analyze the first 30 seconds. Tell me what about this is hooking people's attention and from a psychological perspective is working. It goes and does all this stuff, right? It does this for all those videos. I then said, great, tell me that for the thumbnails as well. And so you're just getting ideas. Like how, how can you take and impart kind of the idea here into your business? It's like, hey, um, my competitor just released this awesome uh, landing page. Why do, why do I love this so much? What does this do right? And how can I go create one just like this? Or I just got this email from somebody in my space. I love it. Uh, how can you create a rubric and a framework for me to write emails like this, right? steal like an artist kind of thing. Um, so I do this, I do it around titles, um, and then I had it create a hook for me based on everything that I learned. So this I would put under the category of how can I model winning patterns, okay? Uh, and the last one I'm gonna show, and again, this is just from like a few days ago, 
is the positioning and ICP profile for my group coaching program I mentioned before. Um, so, so I came up here and started as like a strategy question. Uh, so you're a strategic business advisor. I'm enjoying building content around AI. I also enjoy coaching founders. Help me decide between these two things because in some ways they're kind of opposed. Uh, help me decide between the two. So this is something I typically would use ChatGPT for. I typically find it's really good at this. I did this exact same prompt in ChatGPT and it just wasn't great. <laughs> so I came to Manus and I was like, okay, help me with this. And so it gives me um, the AI implementation coach option. Like, hey, I enjoy AI. Can I work with y'all uh, on, on helping you with AI in your business? Or can I just continue to coach founders? That's cool too. Um, and then it gives me a third option, which is both. Like, hey, you're a premier coach for founders, helping them build resilient, high growth businesses. You have a unique special speciality and leveraging AI to create an unfair competitive advantage. And I'm like, heck yeah, that's awesome because that's like who I want to be. And I want to help you as a business person and as a founder to become that too. So that's where we're going. Uh, I go, this is awesome. Let's do this. Then something really important. I say, cool, commit this positioning to memory. And this is where knowledge comes back in, right? Uh, knowledge is something that is persisted over time in Manus. And so, so, so it did all this, right? It persisted this in knowledge. We're going to talk about knowledge in a second. Uh, so I say, cool, um, include an ICP and expected outcomes they can get from a coaching program like this. And so it goes away and builds a program for me, which is kind of the input I get for the offer doc we talked about. Uh, create an eight, eight to 12 week program, uh, blah, 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 right? So it comes all the way down here and it creates like my ICP profile and my positioning doc, okay? So you can do this, right? You can do this for your business. You can do this for your kind of side hustle, whatever. I wanna talk about knowledge uh, because this is something I'm not doing great, but I know I need to improve it. I just need to spend the time. You can have up to 20 items of knowledge and manus, and this is across all of your chats. So where it's falling down for me is it like literally doesn't know me. It doesn't know my name. Uh, so I need to come in here and probably delete all of these and be really strategic with the 20 pieces of information that I want to persist across all of my chats and manus. So it probably is like, this is my ICP. This is my positioning. This is my bio. These are the problems that I solve for my customers. Uh, these are values that are important to me. Uh, this is how I like to write emails maybe. This is how I like to write YouTube scripts. You can just imagine all those things. So you can add knowledge and it just says name, when you want Manus to use this, uh, and then that content. And that content is just uh, plain text. I don't know how long this can be. I assume it can be pretty long. Uh, Manus, when it's creating it by itself, it doesn't give you very much. It's just like one or two lines, right? So like, I want this to be like super long. I want this to be paragraphs long. So I would probably create this and mark down and then just paste it in here. So that's how I would get over what I think is the only real limitation in Manus is the lack of persisted context and memory across all chats. It's something you get from ChatGPT. And if I can just spend a little bit of time in the knowledge area here, I think I'll probably cancel ChatGPT because it's just Manus is a way better tool at almost everything that I need it for these days. If you haven't checked out Manus yet, there's a link in the description below to check it out. And if you're enjoying this, check out this video where I talk through seven other use cases on Manus, some of which are gonna blow your mind.